Hey Chan Clan Tech Talk viewers, this is Dan and I am posting up a review of the Fire Pit Plus as compared to our old BioLite Fire Pit. Now we were an early adopter of the BioLite Fire Pit uh, that you can see this was purchased in 2018. It's been through a lot. Um, it's weathered a bit, rusted a lot. And this is even under cover, which we did have our solar cover for this uh, unit, but given our humid climate here in Hawaii um, and the test of time, uh, this has pretty much rusted through. Now, the rust is less of an issue because it still is able to hold, you know, charcoal or fire, but the problem is recently uh, we tried to start up the battery pack and the battery is just dead. No amount of resetting it or charging it could get the fan blower started. So unfortunately, um, I took the whole fan apart, looked at the uh, internal components of the battery pack, and it's a lithium ion 3.7 volt uh, 18650 uh, four cell custom battery by Great Power that plugs into the circuit board that charges this unit. Unfortunately, BioLite will not support a battery replacement or just replacing this battery pack. And despite my discussion with customer service, I was not very impressed that the best that they could offer was a recommendation to buy the Fire Pit Plus at a 20% discount. So they did give you a coupon code. But uh, for me, uh, BioLite ships uh, pretty heftily uh, to Hawaii. So I actually got this through Moose Jaw uh, for free shipping um, at regular price. Now, the BioLite Fire Pit Plus is the 2.0 addition to the Fire Pit. Uh, advantages of the Fire Pit and the Fire Pit Plus is that it uses a battery powered fan that blows air through a channel at the bottom and at the side of the fire, basically creating a vortex of air that burns wood and charcoal more efficiently. The cool thing about this unit is that it's portable. Now here it is, the Fire Pit Plus. Let's take a look at some of the, uh, the, the features, similarities and differences. Overall, you can see the design is more or less the same as these collapsible feet. You have these little push buttons here that you can actually collapse these feet down on both sides here. There you go. And imagine folding that under so that this can be transported. So that's a nice feature uh, to allow for portability of these fire pits, especially if you want to take this to the beach, take this to the campsite um, as a portable fire pit. Very nice and convenient thing to do. Now the grill is about the same. This is nice feature. It slides and has a couple of teeth here uh, that help you keep it on. This is great for grilling kebabs, kalbi, um, you know, something small uh, on the surface here, hot dogs, hamburgers even. Um, and you can see that this is basically the same design as our rusty old unit here. Um, handles, same thing here. We have handles. Uh, looks like the handle on this side is a little shorter this time around. Um, I wonder if the distance between the heater, the, uh, the fire pit and the battery pack, still about the same. So some people said that this actually melted if this got too intense, but it seems like it's still the same design. Now, this does have an app that you can connect this via Bluetooth and power and control the fan. This one comes pre-charged. And if you push the power button, this should turn on. There you go. And you can hear the fan whirring up here. Different fan settings as it blows air again through the center channel here and that would help also through here uh, create a vortex of air in the center of the burning log or fuel. Uh, this also off offers a USB port to charge any devices that you have and this is charged through a mini USB port with a reset button in case you have any circuit issues which we eventually did. Now, the frustrating thing about this whole process here is that BioLite should realize, just hold it down to turn it off. There you go. BioLite should realize that these lithium ion batteries are going to go out in two to three years. Now, for a company that says that they are carbon neutral, in fact, they even put it on their, yeah, look at this right there, 
climate neutral certified. A climate neutral certified product should not be creating lithium ion waste. Uh, and if it does, and those batteries can be recycled, that's one thing. But to tell me I gotta throw away the whole battery unit, the whole plastic enclosure, and also basically the rest of this, because there's no battery pack replacement, is a travesty to saying that we are, uh, you know, that they are a uh, climate friendly um, product because of essentially this old fire pit is probably gonna end up at some garbage heap in a landfill somewhere. And at least I'll put my uh, batteries from this battery pack into recycling. But designing this product to have a serviceable or replaceable battery pack, actually it's not too hard to do. Uh, you can just unscrew the back of this um, battery unit and uh, it plugs the, the, the custom lithium ion cell pack actually just plugs in with a connector. So really, if that could be a serviceable component, uh, you know, that would be much more climate friendly. Uh, the reason officially from BioLite was that would uh, cause a safety hazard. Um, heads up, BioLite, many people replace batteries on all sorts of things. Uh, and I think the safety hazard would be minimal, especially if you redesigned the fan pack just to have a serviceable component uh, where a person could plug in and take out the battery just with the battery cover. Food for thought there. Anyways, uh, the uh, Fire Pit Plus itself looks like it's the same design. It looks like it has a little bit more of a lacquered enamel, uh, which was the big complaint of the original Fire Pit, that without that, it tended to rust a lot, so perhaps they improved that. They also said that the X-ray mesh, the whole size has increased to allow for more transmission of heat and enjoyment of the fire. Uh, again, I think that's by design, maybe to help with venting rusting as you can notice here uh, perhaps those uh, the perforations on the uh, the mesh were, were too small so really this unit uh, the last thing that improved was the battery capacity uh, I believe this was a 10,000 uh, kilo whatever uh, milliamp hour uh, battery pack this is a 12,000 milliamp hour uh, battery pack so again you should get more storage on this but again, uh, I'm suspect that your lithium ion batteries are probably only going to last about three to five years. So hopefully, uh, you know, I don't have to buy a third fire pit uh, the next time I review this two to three years down the road. Uh, they do recommend you to charge your battery every uh, month or two if you're not using it to keep it fresh. Um, we do use a solar charger. Uh, this was the one that we reviewed previously uh, that was sold by BioLite as well as an official charger. I think it should work for this same technology if you can charge the battery through trickle charging through the USB, uh, micro USB is included, uh, then you should be able to do that through the solar charger as well. Um, we'll test that out and see. So I did want to demonstrate that the Fire Pit Plus fits the Fire Pit cover. If you have the solar cover that I think is now out of production, uh, this fits this well. Um, this solar panel does provide a micro USB charge and you can see that this battery also is able to charge by the solar panel as it's blinking over here. You can see that charging. So hopefully this new battery will give us a uh, longer life and that we're able to recharge the battery using the solar panel from the original um, bio light fire pit plus accessory which is still available at some retailers the last thing is um, this is for outdoor use only um, there's a little tag that you have to take off that says we agree that we will not use this indoors uh, that is a safety hazard obviously this is a fire pit uh, and can cause a fire and carbon monoxide poisoning and whatnot so for what it's worth, hopefully this is an interesting comparison for any of you guys wondering what's the difference between the BioLite Fire Pit, seen on the right here, and the BioLite Fire Pit Plus. Uh, not too much difference. A couple of upgrades, bigger mesh, bigger battery, uh, enameled, more enameled design, but overall a very similar product, albeit sadly Ness, uh, a, nece uh, a necessary upgrade just because of a failing battery or lithium-ion battery unit in the prior edition. 
would love to see that changed by a light in future designs. All right, thanks for watching. This is the Chan Clan with our side to side uh, open box demonstration and comparison of the BioLite Fire Pit and the Fire Pit Plus. Uh, we'll try to get another video up in the future of this in action, but you can otherwise check out my link that I'll put in here of our original BioLite uh, in its glory days before its battery uh, um, died out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the Chan Clan's Tech Talk.